For today's grim adventure, we find ourselves in North Hollywood visiting a place that is so legendary to Hollywood movies, TV shows, and the custom car culture across the country, hell, even the world. And that's Barris Custom Industries. By that I mean oh special things they make like cars, kooky cars for television and movies. Would you like to see some and how it's done? Well then follow me now. Let's go shopping for a car. Now that sounds normal enough, but not the regular kind of car that you and I would go to your neighborhood dealer and buy. These are George Barris's custom cars that you don't usually see on freeways. And Pat Priest is in the market for something a little unusual. Here's a dandy, Pat. You drive into a gas station and tell the attendant to fill it with gas and check the water. In the flower pot, that is. It's been featured in Better Homes and Gardens. This is one of the cars that George Barris designs for many of the motion pictures and television shows. It's for the movie Out of Sight. And it is. Barris Custom City in North Hollywood is just over the Hollywood Hills, and it's reputed to be the leading designer and maker of these oddball cars. Here's one that Pat's very familiar with. The starring vehicle of her television show, The Monsters. It has 19 cylinders, and you use only supernatural ethyl gasoline. Now I realize George Barris may not be a household name to you, but I guarantee you, you've seen a movie or a TV show with his custom creations in it. Like the TV show Batman, he created the Batmobile. The TV show The Monsters, he created the Monster Coach and the Dragula. Did you even know that there's a second Monsters car? Briefly but it's the Dragula, it's a Munster's hot rod. Now, aside from TV shows and movies, he also did customizations to celebrity vehicles for Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, Liberace, the Beach Boys, John Lennon. This guy's a Hollywood legend, and it's really sad to see this place close. Now, sadly, we're not gonna be able to get inside. This place has been closed for quite some time, and George has been passed for quite some time as well. His family's been running the place and a couple years ago well before jessica and i even moved here they had a, a garage sale where you could have come and bought a whole bunch of stuff that they had but this is it how freaking beautiful is this place it's so sad that it's closed i wish that they would just keep it open you are walking the street at night And behind you there's no one in view But you hear mysterious feet at night And the monsters are following you If you should meet this strange family Just forget Above the windows they have a couple different photos of some of the cars that he's made. I completely forgot that he did the Beverly Hillbillies car. See it right there in the picture on the right hand side? So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly Hills, that is. I really don't know how much we're going to be able to see through the window here. We're going to try, but they have a couple of different displays. I'm not sure what this says. Of the famous Batmobile. I'm guessing maker of the famous Batmobile. And here's a model right here. And then right above that, oh, check out the wheels. How freaking cool is that? And then right up here, I'm hoping you guys can see that. It's the top of the Batmobile from the TV show. I'm trying to shield the sunlight in the window as best as I can. I can see it, but I can't tell through the camera if you can see it. Fingers and bones crossed. But this is on the inside. Look at that. It's the Munsters coach. Now that's the best shot that I'm going to get of the Batmobile on the showroom floor. Man, I wish we could get inside this. I want to see it so bad. But for now, this is the best that we're going to be able to do from the other side of the glass. So far, I've shown you the alleyway and the storefront. But if we come over this way, which is where George Barris, as well as everybody else, would have come to pick up their cars or to come here and work, the entrance, the driveway, is right over here. And the gate is really cool. The gates that lead back to the garages where George Barris and his family and crew made Hollywood history. 
They're simple, but how cool is it? Look at this. It bears his name, Barris, the logo. And then right above it, you just saw it, but I'm gonna point it out even again, is the Batman cowl. And then right behind that, you can kind of make it out through there. Let's see here. There you go. There's the office and one of the garage doors bearing the B for Barris. I don't know what we're gonna be able to see if we walk the fence line here. Just a few more garage doors. You can just imagine seeing these cars, the Batmobile, the, the Dragula, the Munsters coach, freaking the Beach Boys being here, Elvis Presley, Liberace. This is just insanity. And it's all going away. What's back here? Well, there's something under a tarp. Nothing exciting, just looks like some trailers. There's that one, and then that one over there. One night I dare peek through their window screen. My hair turned white, that's such a crazy scene. Because every evening is Halloween at the months. Just like anybody who's pretty much a business owner, I don't know if people still do it anymore. I mean, we did it back whenever we were kids. But here's George Barris' signature. And if we turn over this way, you can see there's the Batman logo. Let's see what this says. Uh, Brett, Jared, some different dates. But there it is. Now I've been here for some time filming and every person who's come here has not seen this. So I've been pointing it out. Right there in about the center of your screen, there's a sign that says George Barris Place, recognized as King of Custom Cars. George Barris has been designing and building custom and celebrity cars since the 1940s. Man, so much history. Again, so sad to see it go. The news that this place was being sold happened within the past week and I reached out to the PR people to see if I can get inside, contact somebody so I can go inside and document. I know a lot of people have done it in the past, but I haven't seen it. Now the guy at the PR firm for Barris Custom Industries told me that there's no getting inside. In fact, if you wanna get up there, you should go up there this weekend because everything is supposed to be scheduled to start being removed come Monday. So at the time of filming this, it's Sunday. So tomorrow, those cars may not be here. So this might be the closest that we are gonna be able to get to them for a long time. He did say that Barris Custom Industries is not going away, just the brick and mortar places. For instance, if you wanted to rent the Batmobile or the Munsters Coach or the Dragula, you can, it's gonna cost you, but you can rent them from Barris Custom Industries. It kind of pains me to see such a historic place go away, but I get it, I understand. Times change, things happen and the family has held on to it for quite some time. Thank you. Wish I could have met everybody. Wish I could have met everybody. I completed my first custom, which was a 1925 hand-me-down Buick from my parents. And I was able to do all the different customizing events, putting doorknobs in the grill and, and uh, foxtails and hubcaps and uh, back to old household paint from, the, from a hardware store. But when I drove into school, it was kind of a very unique feeling because this is the first time that anybody in our classes or even the school board was able to see a car customized. That means changed from what it was stock to what I created from that car. And of course, doing everything by hand and through my mind at 13 years old of what I liked, what I enjoyed. And the big feeling 
extended through the kids that were at school because when they saw what I did, they said, wow, look what Barris did to that old Buick. He made it into a new Buick or a custom Buick. So these are one of the thrills that I had that made me feel that this is the road that I wanted to take with any kind of wheels for the rest of my life. Well, I figure since we're doing a farewell video to the Barris Custom Industries brick and mortar store, we should head over to the cemetery, the final resting place of George Barris himself and pay our respects. Now he's buried here in Glendale at a place called Forest Lawn Cemetery and a little section in the back called Garden of Honor. Now, full disclosure, typically the Garden of Honor is closed to the public. You can't come back here unless you have a family member, somebody in your family that's buried here in this section. Sometimes, if you're lucky, the gates are unlocked, usually on the weekends. If you do decide to come here to visit, always remember to be respectful. Now, a little bit of history about George Barris and Barris Custom Industries. The building that we visited today isn't the original building. The, for the original one burnt down and it hit George Barris so hard, his family, that he almost gave up customizing cars, something that he's always loved doing ever since he was a little kid. But his wife found the place on Riverside Drive, they moved the entire operation over there, and history happened. We had the Batmobile, the Munsters coach, so many cars, so many customizations came out of there. It's legendary. 1957, and I got a phone call from a, one of the police department guys who worked for me. He said, George, your building is burning. Now, Shirley and I, we went ahead and we thought there was a joke called back to the police department. They said, yes, George, your building is burning. So Shirley and I run down there and of course it was burning. We lost 15 cars, Archie Moore, Jane Mansfield, President Richfield, my whole life was there. And I said, I quit, Shirley. I'm not gonna go through this anymore. We lost everything except it stopped, the fire stopped at one little building that I had one car in, and that was the Alicart. Shirley said, you're gonna stay. The Alicart was owned by Richard Peters from Fresno, an Armenian boy. And he said, George, you're gonna stay. And I said, okay, we'll finish the car. Now these Armenians, every day drove 250 miles to help me work on the a la carte, to finish the a la carte. And lo and behold, we won. Number one Grand National Roadster in history that won that show. And there it is, the final resting place of George Barris, King of the Customizers. November 20th, 1925 to November 5th, 2015. Husband, father, grandfather, dear friend, custom car legend, and an American icon whose passion con continues to invigorate us all. God has a bigger garage in the sky for you. And it's nice. Crazy, right? And with that being said, I want to say thank you for joining us on another grim adventure, this time visiting the final resting place of George Barris in the brick and mortar store of the Barris Custom Industries. Sadly, it's closing in a matter of weeks, possibly even days, who knows. Wish it was still gonna be there. I wish they were turning it into a museum. I would pay good money to sit inside the Munsters coach in the Batmobile for a photo. Hint, hint, hoping. Man, don't take it away. But I understand, it is what it is. With that being said, happy Halloween. Until next time, boo. It's gone my way wherever I go hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a coming my way